Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us build a Eureka server. So what is a Eureka server? Like I mentioned in my previous video, Eureka server is used to register and keep track of multiple instances in a cluster. Okay, I'm here in my uh, Spring Tool Suits IDE and uh, let me create a, a Spring Boot project and start from that. All right, click on File, New, Spring Startup Project. Uh, put in a name as Eureka server. Uh, the group is going to be the group ID is going to be com.springboot packages com.springboot. Uh, click on next and search for Eureka. So we have the Eureka server here. Click on the Eureka server uh, dependency. Next and click on finish. All right. Looks like the imports are successfully downloaded. And let us take a look at the pom.xml. Okay. So what do we have in this pom.xml? All right, we have the parent Spring Boot uh, startup parent. Uh, we have a, a dependency for Spring Cloud Starter Netflix Eureka server. And we have a, a dependency for Spring Framework.cloud. So the version that I'm going to use is Finlay. This is the latest version. Uh, the other versions that we have outside are like there's a Dalston version, there's an Edware version, I even use uh, the version depending upon your needs. Okay, this is like the latest version for Spring 2.0 release. Okay, so let's move on and let us take a look at our application. So the application has at the rate of Spring Boot application. So in order to enable this application as a Eureka server, I need to do one thing. We have to add an annotation at the rate of enable Eureka server. Okay, uh, the annotation is added. Let's save it and let's quickly take a look at our application.yaml. Okay, so by default, uh, looks like the application.properties has generated. I'm going to rename it as application.yaml. If your project is starting from the scratch, right, guys, I would recommend using YAML instead of dot properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a add a key server dot port. Uh, let me give eight seven double zero. I have a, a Jenkins running in my local in H O eight zero, so I have to change the port. Or else, uh, when you start the application, you get a uh, error that port eight eighty is already used by an application. Okay. So, so that's it. Uh, let's run our application and let's access this application in the browser and see how the console of an Eureka server looks like. Okay, the server is up and running. Let's move on to our browser. Let me type in the URI. Which is eight seven double zero. All right, so our Eureka server is up and running, and it is ready to you know register multiple instances. So this is the default screen that you are seeing here, and it has all the informations that you know you might need. Uh, so the system statuses, if if your instance gets registered here, right, it will automatically you know will be available here. And we have different metrics, instances, info, all the things here. So let's move on and let's create our first Eureka client in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys.